Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm in my sweatshirt. I'm super sleepy right now. It's like the middle of the day and I'm just trying to get over that like sleepy slump that comes. And yeah, so I just set up my uh, filming stuff and I'm hoping this video gives me a little bit more energy talking to y'all. I have a pretty big life update and I just kind of wanted to go more in depth on this. So basically I got a job 10 months after graduating from college and I kind of just wanted to make a video about this because I know that the post-grad job hunting is a struggle and a half. To give you guys a little bit of background about me, I went to the University of Central Florida, it's in Orlando, and I majored in radio television. Um, and throughout college, I really found my passion was just like photography, videography, content creation, social media, all that stuff. So I was trying to look for jobs in social media, um, marketing, content creation, anything like that. Um, but my dream job would definitely have been content creation. Um, I really just love anything to do with cameras um, and editing and all that stuff. So I moved to Austin, Texas after college because my boyfriend got a job with Oracle here. And so I tried job hunting here. I was just looking around. And of course I wanted to work for like a cool company that was like kind of millennial and just like a name that I kind of knew of. And I definitely wasn't knocking trying to work for like a startup because I definitely interviewed with one and it didn't really go so well, um, but anyways, I feel like the bigger brands definitely wanted more experience in social media, and I personally thought I have a lot of experience for my age. Um, but yeah, I go a lot more in depth about just like my post-grad job hunting struggle in another video, so I'll link that down below so you guys can pause this video, go watch that one, and then I feel like this will all make a little bit more sense. I really just did not think I would get a job after I posted that video. I kind of posted that video just telling myself, okay, like I'm gonna try this whole freelance thing, I'm gonna pursue photography, I'm gonna pursue videography, try to do this whole influencer thing. Um, and it's been really picking up, it's been going well. And then of course it just so happens when I stop looking for a job, a job kind of comes my way. I know some of you guys follow my photography and videography stuff on my other YouTube and uh, my other Instagram page. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, so you guys probably may have seen that I got flown out to Miami. I actually made a vlog on it So I actually got flown out to Miami to film an event recap and so this was actually for the company that I got the job with um, It was just one of their uh, Properties so at the event I saw a girl I knew from my sorority. She was two years older than me I think so we were Katie sisters um, and we're alum now So this girl works with the company that hired me for the Miami gig and she told me that they had a content creator job opening up and I think this was like in October or something um, so I wasn't really trying to get my hopes up but I was like oh my god that would be everything because I loved the company I've actually worked with them even before Miami when I was in college at UCF I did a couple gigs with them um, in Orlando and Tampa um, so I already know the company. I already love the company. I think they're great. I they're so understanding They always respected me um, So I was really really excited when she told me that this role opened up So a few months later the job opened up on their website So I went and applied and I did one video interview and it was just so like Chill I feel like it wasn't really that much pressure because first of all they kind of knew my work they they have had referrals for me um, and I just didn't really feel that much pressure to be something I wasn't because the job was just that perfect for me. I remember interviewing for my first job and I forgot what the role was, but it was some kind of like job that I really wasn't familiar with. So I would have had to be trained and so that made the interview 10 times harder because I didn't know like a lot of the words they were uh, asking me questions about, like um, all these business words. I didn't study business in college, so it was just really, really hard for me to kind of pretend like, you know, I knew all these like vocabulary terms and all that stuff. So this interview was just so easy for me because obviously it was everything I already knew. And I also just felt so comfortable talking to them. Um, so it was really great and thank God it was only one round of interviews because the other job I interviewed for um, They did like three rounds of interviews and I didn't get the job and I was like Could you not have like cut me off at the second at least like it sucked But anyways to be honest I was a little bit hesitant to apply for the role because 
at the time I was just kind of like really getting into my freelancing stuff and you know things are definitely starting to pick up with that so I didn't know if I you know it, if it was the right time but I just thought you know it wouldn't hurt to just interview find out a little bit more about the role when I went online and read the description I just felt like it was perfect for me. I feel like every little bullet point was like a skill I actually knew about. I also really believe that I just have so much more to learn about, especially in the corporate environment. And I just, I feel like you can never stop learning from other people. So while I'm young, I definitely want to take advantage of that. At the end of senior year, coming to Austin, I actually saved up so much money um, because I was working so much. I was busy all the time. So I ran out of money around September and I had to ask for my parents' help which was a very hard pill to swallow just because I was so proud that I saved up all that money and I was just really, I mean, I thought I was gonna get a job by the time I ran out of money, but unfortunately I didn't. But after that, after that one month that they helped me out, um, I was able to pay for everything, like make my rent and make more than my rent. And like, honestly, I don't know how I did it because it was literally just freelancing and maybe a couple of like sponsored posts here and there, but I don't even do that many. Um, so I literally don't know how I did it, but I survived and I'm so honestly impressed with myself, but I'm just so excited for a stable paycheck because I mean, if you guys are a freelancer, you would know like how nerve-wracking it is not knowing where your money's gonna come from the next month um, and if you're gonna be able to make rent. I just always tried to manifest more and more gigs and I mean I guess I was just lucky. I tried to network a lot and that helped a ton because then they would just you know refer me to their friends and I was just really lucky in that way. Um, but yeah I'm just really excited about a stable paycheck um, not having to worry about where my rent's gonna come from. And now I get to have like extra fun money and like spend it on things I want, like freaking decorating my apartment. It's like something I've been wanting to do, obviously ever since we moved in here, but I wanted to get the basics like the couch, which was a lot of money. And then I got the TV and then a, a lot of other furniture we have, we brought from our homes in Georgia, but I just want to get like nice decor, things that we'll like actually use in like our future home, you know, and so obviously this is going to help and I'm really excited about it. But the most important thing is that I'm going to be able to save my money because like I said, I was basically just making rent and then a little bit more than that, but I obviously wasn't making enough to save any money. And that's definitely one of my big New Year's resolutions is to have like a lot of money saved up by the end of this year. I just always wanna have a cushion just in case like something happens, whether it's like technology wise, health wise, you know, moving wise, you never know what could happen. So I definitely, definitely wanna start saving money. Um, so that is something I'm going to make happen. In the video that I talked about my post-grad job hunting, I told you guys how pretty much all my jobs in college, I never really had to interview for anything because they always just came from word of mouth referrals. Um, and I guess it's what happened again. And I'm telling you guys, like it's so important to network. It's so important to maintain the relationships too. Um, not just to like meet as many people as you can, but like try to stay connected over time because it's literally how I got this job. The people that I worked with while I was doing my freelance for this company, they referred me to who is now my boss. So it's just really nice to have people that can kind of push you a little bit forward. I think what also really helped is that my references wrote amazing things about me. At least that's what they told me in um, the follow-up email they sent. And I'm really just thankful for my past bosses and I also keep in touch with them too. So again, maintain those relationships. You never know what they could say about you to your future employer. So now it's time to actually say what I'm gonna be doing for this job. I'm going to be working as a content creator, which is literally insane because this is like the dream title I wanted straight out of college. Um, and I'm just really excited about it because I mean, I like social media, I think marketing's cool, but I definitely think that my passions are in content creation. Like I'm really good with the camera and uh, editing and stuff, so why not like use my skills? Um, so it, what's crazy about this job is that it was actually originally supposed to be in Georgia um, and in Athens, Georgia actually, which is weird because Ryan went to school 
at UGA, so I'm very familiar with Athens. And what's also crazy is that I was actually raised in Roswell, Georgia. Same with my boyfriend, that's where we met. So my parents, my family all lives in Georgia. It's just gonna be nice to be able to pass through and maybe have dinner or breakfast with my family um, every once in a while. But I'm not really sure how much I'm actually gonna be traveling or even traveling to Athens, um, but I'm going to be going there on February 10th uh, for my training. So I'm starting on February 10th and I'm really excited and also nervous because obviously starting my first real post-grad job is nerve wracking. I obviously have to live up to like my referrals and my references. Um, so I'm just really excited to get started. I just wanna throw in some questions that you may have about you know, just my life in general or like this job or whatever. So the first one is, will I still be freelancing? And yes, I do still plan on freelancing. I love having just like different projects. I feel like it really gets my creative juices flowing. I am working at this job 30 hours per week, so it's part time. So I'm definitely going to be taking on freelance jobs um, when I'm not working or on the weekends. The next question is, will I still be active on YouTube? Um, and of course, I am still gonna be active. I, I feel like this is gonna make me work even harder on YouTube because first of all, it's gonna give me content um, that I have a job now and I can talk about that. But also, I feel like in college, I had so many jobs and I got it all done, which is actually insane because it was a lot on my plate, but I have always found time and I feel like when I don't have that much to do, I start to procrastinate because in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, I have like, tomorrow to do that so like let me just push it off to the till then you know but now with having a job I actually have to prioritize this job instead of you know my YouTube channel but obviously my passion is my YouTube channel so I'm gonna make time for that so I'm hoping that the time that I do have to work on stuff will just be used more efficiently so that wraps up this video if you guys have any more questions for me down below go ahead and ask them or you can DM me on Instagram um, go ahead and follow my Instagram too if you guys are new here and you don't already follow um, I have some great content and I'm trying to talk on my stories more um, and just interact with you guys in general. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.